Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy, Cold Blue Opinions, coming back at you with another one of his opinions coming from his motherfucking bunker. Now, I was watching a live yesterday. And can you guess who was live? Well, you should know because it's in the title of the video. And his name was Sneeko. I was watching Sneeko. And Sneeko was talking about the. Well, he was watching the Poor Man's podcast or Poor Man Reacts or whatever, right? And Poor Man's podcast made a point that women, men and women are equal but different. And then the moment that he said that, Sneeko was like, what? Oh, no, now now we found something we disagree on. That doesn't make any sense because if they're different, how can they be equal? You just contradicted yourself. And it sounded really stupid. I was like, Sneeko, that, that sounds really dumb. But his mind kept going to, like, equating the value. And I don't really even like the argument of comparing men and women to being equal of each other it's just stupid it's dumb it's it's just, it's just dumb it's like it's, just, it's it's two completely different things there's no point in trying to equate the value of the two right it's just it's just not but then everyone kept making really bad analogies and even poor men's podcast made a bad analogy he said two plus two is four as is one plus three and then Sneeko went on some, like, tangent about how, well, the, the men and women are not math problems, and even still, the woman will be the one, and the man will be the three, which would make the man more... I was just like, oh, this is so stupid, this is so low IQ! It was pissing me off. Because there's, there's an easy comparison, but we'll get to that in a second. There's an easy fucking comparison. It, it's... It, they were... Everyone was making the wrong comparison. And then someone said some dumb shit about, like, it's, uh, it's like... A hundred pounds of rocks is the same weight as a hundred pounds of feathers. They're different, but they're equal. And then it just gave Sneeko the alley-oop to go, Oh, well, uh, you if you wanted to knock down a door, you'd take a hundred pounds of rocks, not a hundred pounds of feathers. Oh, my God. Oh. And, like, if you wanted to lay on one for a fucking bed, you'd lay on the feathers, right? And so even in that analogy, it was a dumb, it was a dumb analogy, but even still, it had, like, they're different. You could lay, you'd lay on the feathers for a bed, and you'd probably use the rocks to, for destruction. To knock down a door, or demolition or something, right? Two different uses. I mean, I, I, they could be equal. I actually say the feathers is more useful, because I'm going to be sleeping a lot more than I'm knocking down doors. If I'm being real, unless I'm just like in the fuck, uh, uh, FBI raider, I just, FBI, open up, like, that's my job. I don't need a 100-pound bag of rocks. So, I honestly, it was still a dumb analogy, right? But let's get into the points that are written down. So, first things first is I don't like to compare women and men. I already said this, though, but I don't like to compare men and women in terms of being equal. It, it, it ruins it ruins the view of the dynamic between men and women in the first place. Why are you trying to equate? What are, what are we even like? Okay, let's say that, okay, we're, we're equals or whatever, right? What are we equals in? Like, what makes us equal? The importance of us? Okay, yes, I agree with that. We're both equally important. But at the same time, it depends on what you're talking about. Because if it's in a time of war, the men are very expendable. And the women are actually, con women and children are considered more uh, valuable because they're the ones who are going to keep the nation alive because Americans that are born in America, well, the pregnant women are going to give birth to them. And they're going to continue the next bloodline. And then the next bloodline is the next generation that keeps us going. The men are expendable and they go off and protect the women so the women and children so that they don't die off. Who's more important? If a ship is sinking and there's women on the ship, the women and the children get off first and the men sacrifice their lives and die. So that the, the women and children can bring the next generation of women, children, and men, right? So we can continue going. If the men just survive, all right, well, you know, all right, we're men. We got to go to some other nation and fuck their women or something, I guess. Like, so if we're, we're, if we're comparing the importance of, like, how, how are we comparing that? We're equal in what regards? If I do a fucking arm wrestle with a chick, I'm going to beat her. We're not equal in that regards. If I fight a chick, I'm going to beat her. We're not equal in that regards. If we're comparing reactions and reflexes, I'm going to beat her. So in what regards, like, Equal in what way? Equal, equal. I don't even like to compare that. 
because women are going to be considered more valuable and better at certain things and men are going to be considered more valuable or more important at certain things when it comes to athletics men are deemed more more valuable because they're a spectacle to watch they're more of a spectacle to watch than women generally speaking so it's like, I don't even like to compare that because we both have things that we're good at. We both have things that we're not so good at. We both have things that we're better at and we both have things that we're worse at. I don't even like to compare the two because it's, it's just a dumb thing, right? And the equal thing comes from a relationship sort of, sort of standpoint and I don't I don't look at it just like, like that. When it comes to a relationship, if the man is the man he needs to be, now if you got a little bitch, then all right, all right, whatever. But someone has to be the dominant one. Someone has to be sort of that authority sort of figure to some degree and when people hear that they're like oh you could be authority. but if i'm going to be responsible for you and your safety let's say i met your father and then right after that we're going on a date and your father knew we we're going to go out on a date your father goes like what you better make sure my daughter is safe you better bring my you better bring my daughter home safe like let's say you're a teenager or something you better bring my my daughter home safe you better make sure my daughter is safe you're responsible for her safety so there's a level of responsibility, and if there's a level of responsibility, there needs to be, like Andrew Tate said, that it does need to be a level of authority to some degree. To some degree, because, hey, look, if fucking five gunmen come out, or let's not say five gunmen, but let's say five dudes walk around a fucking corner, I don't know who the fuck they are, and if I say, hey, you know what, all right, we're actually, we're going to cross the other side of the street, and if they cross the street with us, we're going to make a break for it. If I told her to do that, and she's like, mm, no, I don't know. These guys could be nice. And what the fuck are you arguing with me for? If if three fucking dudes start trying to jump us or rob us, whatever, and I tell you to run, you better fucking run. You better not try to fight because you're going to hold me back in the fight. You know, there has to be some level of authority. And you can't. You can't just on the fly decide you want to listen to me if you already built up a history and a pattern of resisting and no, no, you know what? No, 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 no. And you can't just turn that on on the fly. If you're used to that, you have to already respect somebody as an authority figure to be able to be willing to listen to them when it comes down to that moment, right? Because you're going to do what comes natural to you in that dynamic with that person. So if you're, if what comes natural to you is, all right, well, you know what? I'm going to just do what I want to do and I'm not going to listen to his his word or his suggestions at all in any way whatsoever. That's naturally, that's going to be even exaggerated when it comes out because you're going to do whatever comes natural. And if you think you want to fight when three dudes come up, when, it, when, when it's you and your man, you're going to fucking fight. And cool, great, all right, you're a warrior. I mean, I'm not attracted to that, but cool, I guess. But you get knocked the fuck out or you're, you're, you're at a physical disadvantage. Which puts me at a disadvantage because I'm responsible for your safety as well. But if you run the fuck away and I keep them here and I fight them, you're good. I got that sorted out. I would have to fight all three of them regardless. But now I got to worry about your fucking safety and I got to fight all three of them. You know what I mean? So, yes, that, that's, that's just, but like I said, the authority, when it comes to authority, you have someone who's your superior. The superior is not someone who's better than you. This is just someone who is above you when it comes to authority. Like your coach, if you have a ba if you baseball team, whatever, your coach is your superior. You listen to them. If you go out on a fucking tournament, you guys travel to another state, Georgia, or Florida, or some shit, your coach is responsible for you. And if your coach tells you, hey, get your ass back in your fucking hotel room, you listen to him. All right, guys, we're, we're done for the day. You don't just not listen to him. And if you don't, he called your fucking parents. And you got you get in trouble because you did not respect his authority. and You didn't listen because you put everyone you compromised everyone's safety by not listening to him. And you're you're just you're not listening to your superior. It doesn't mean you're more valuable. In fact, I, I mean, it doesn't mean that he's more valuable or he's better. It just means he's your superior. You must listen to him. In fact, I'd say your lives as the players that he's responsible for, your lives are more valuable. If there was some crazy scenario in which there was a robber and you guys were at a bank and the coach was there, the coach would probably put his life on the line to make sure that you guys were safe. Right? Your lives would be more valuable in that situation. So it's just, but when you start to think about it, like, are we equal or not? It's bullshit. And I'm sorry, this was a long point I had to make, but it's bullshit. So the the thing that they, they, they could have compared instead of the rocks to pillows thing or the one plus three, the alphabet to the numeric system. They are two different things, but they are equally important. They do two different things. Would you say, well, well uh, I'd say that the letter B is equal to the number four. What? That's fucking retarded. That's dumb. I mean, maybe if you're doing algebra, all right, very situational. But I mean, generally speaking, when it comes to the alphabet and the way the alphabet is used, 
you do not try to compare the value of the letter A to the, to the number one, generally speaking. Because the number one has a completely different function than the letter A. Two are, the two are very important. And if you get rid of either one and their existence, like you erase one from existence completely, society crumbles. You get rid of, rid of the alphabet and all letters. We're not able to communicate and convey ideas. We're not able to write down innovations that people have had. We're not able to write down history so we can learn from history what people have done. We're not even we're not going to be able to even write down. Let's say somebody creates a new, uh, new theory or someone creates a new invention, whatever, and they have the instructions written down on how to create these things or whatever. And they pass down the knowledge. They can't do that anymore. Knowledge cannot be passed down. Alexa, stop. Knowledge cannot be passed down. But if you get rid of the numbers, well, calculations are now gone. And calculations are very important pieces to coming up with these theories or coming up with these new advancements in technology. Right? They're very big. There's so many things that you could do with both of them, and they're both equally important. Because if you get rid of either one, like I said, society would crumble apart. Equally important, two completely different things. Be real. Be real. Um, yeah, and it's sort of the same thing with women. They, they, women and men, they serve different roles. They're equally important, right? Men and women serve completely different roles. They're two different things, but they're equally important. That, I mean, I really don't see, which it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You can say women are the alphabet, men are the alphabet. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. If you get rid of the existence of either one, society crumbles and, I mean, if either one never existed, we'd all die. <laughs> it's as simple as that, right? It's as simple as that. But there are repercussions in different ways that are horrible. If you, if let's say all of them got erased, all women got erased right now. There are horrible repercussions for that. Okay, you can make the, 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 uh, you can make the point, well, men would be able to survive and da, 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 da. we might be able to create artificial, like, inceptions or whatever the fuck but i mean it's bullshit like we'd be fucked we'd be fucked in a lot of ways right and if men got if men got erased we, women would be fucked it doesn't matter <laughs> we're both very important so yeah no that's just that's just my opinion on this let me know what y'all think down in the comments below and i'm out peace